Sophie Bảo Trân xin kính chào quý vị đến với chương trình WhatsApp. Và đây là phần 2 của cuộc phóng sự đặc biệt với Cường Phạm, CEO và thành lập viên của hãng nước mắm Red Boat. Vì Bảo Trân đã giới thiệu hãng Red Boat bằng tiếng Việt qua nhiều chương trình trước đây, Bảo Trân xin phép lần này giới thiệu bằng tiếng Anh để các bạn trẻ cũng như là các cộng đồng bạn sẽ có cơ hội tìm hiểu thêm về nước mắm Việt Nam. With over 100 million Vietnamese people around the world, living in different countries, speaking different languages, achieving success in various industries, there is something that we have in common. Nước mắm, fish sauce, runs in our blood. The golden amber liquid is essential to all regions of Vietnamese cuisine. Fish sauce was once thought of as stinky to foreigners, but now it is revered as a secret ingredient by top chefs globally. For one particular Vietnamese American, fish sauce runs so deep in his veins that he left his Silicon Valley job as an Apple engineer and moved to Phu Quoc, Vietnam to pursue his passion of creating the purest, most authentic first press extra virgin fish sauce. I'm Sophie Bao Chan, and today on What's Up, I invite you to meet Gung Pham, CEO and founder of Red Boat Fish Sauce. Yeah, you can actually, I can actually physically see the difference. Like, I, well, I don't know, why did you name your company Red Boat? Is it because like the fish sauce is a little bit red? Because when I went, <laughs> I, you know, I can actually see that your, the color is a little bit more red than yes. other fish sauce. Okay. Red Bull, <laughs> interesting. Okay, <laughs> thanks for asking that. No, it's, it's not the color of the, it's just, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. the, the red amber color mm -hmm. is how the fish sauce, the first press, Fuqua, with all the other things you do, that's the end product of that. But Red Bull, I'm starting my life on the boat, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I left the country mm -hmm. 40 years ago on a boat, basically, mm -hmm. all right? And now when I get into doing this for some of the reason that you might have heard about mm -hmm. um, the most important step of making fish sauce mm -hmm. is on the boat not in the barrel house because oh. that's the afterward that's why it's not called red barrel right because <laughs> if you bring the, the rotten fish mm -hmm. into the barrel house you doesn't matter how nice how clean the barrel house mm -hmm. that you keep it you're not gonna have the good fish sauce mm -hmm. coming out from there Wow, I see. That's very interesting. And you know, you mentioned chefs. I know I, I've watched documentaries and I've learned a little bit about the concept of umami. Okay. Um, and a lot of chefs are really into that, especially the top chefs. Can you explain a little bit about umami? Yeah, umami is a term that um, is uh, what they call the fifth test that invented by the Japanese. Mm. Umami, I think they name it after him. Mm. So it's just a savory. And you can get that by doing, um, for chef, they can, you know, cook the mushroom, they can do a few things to, to get that savory test. Mm -hmm. And then, but if the fish sauce, the way we make it, that has been traditionally, that's what we had it. Mm -hmm. And this is go back thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. Let's say gar. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. The Romans started it way back 3,000 years ago with salted fish and, and they have fish sauce. They don't call it fish sauce, they call it gorum, but basically the same thing. They salted the fish so they got the liquid. A lot of the cooking, uh, the fermented fish, give you something that they cannot really understand, but they know that it's there. Hmm. The, the thing is, um, the umami, is the is the savory that when you tested it and you probably experience it mm -hmm. only if you get there or you try the red boat because it's pure high in protein and it's a fermented true fish protein that give you that that flavor mm -hmm. and chefs when they discover that it's like oh this is the secret because every time they put a little bit of that is give them a tremendous of flavor not mm -hmm. just whatever they cook it. It mm -hmm. wakes up the flavor of the ingredients that mm -hmm. they cook with. That's why they call it the secret ingredients. I tell you the funny story, like I give you a very famous chef up in San Francisco. 
uh, Chris Cosentino. So we give them and say, hey, chef, try this one. He's Italian, he cooks Italian food. And he go on the cooking show and he use it. But he strip out the label and say, why? I don't want other people to see it. This is secret. my secret. I'm going to use it. I say, how would people know? You need to let, and then I'm not going to be around if they don't, <laughs> if we don't have people to support it. Mm -hmm. And that's when he gets it. I say, okay, this is what it is that, and then it's catch on. Mm -hmm. You know, people notice it and they, they use it. And, and that's, and our, you know, mother, grandmother, they know it all along. Vietnamese mothers they using mother knows best. they know <laughs> and the tra traditional fish sauce mm -hmm. this is what it gives you you know yeah. it wakes up the flavor that you cook it with I see but you know uh, Vietnamese fish sauce Nick Mom is notorious for you know turning uh, non-Vietnamese people away like you know someone who is not Vietnamese you would ask them do you know how to eat fish sauce go be ăn nước mắm không yeah. right but when these top chefs from around the world, they come to your facilities or they taste your nook mm -hmm. what do they say? Oh, they blow their minds off. They say, okay, <laughs> finally, and then they start asking questions and then it kind of makes sense. So we took them on the boat mm -hmm. and say, here, this is how we catch it. This is mm -hmm. anchovies. Mm -hmm. We salt it, we bring it in. Three months like this, six months it tastes like this, nine months tastes like this, 12 months tastes like this. So the fermentation, it transformed the fish sauce it's more mature. Mm -hmm. And then on the 11th month, you get all that flavor, the color, the aroma. You know, just like a fruit, it finally is ripe, and that's when you use it. And you, you benefit all the nuance from, from the fermentation. I see. Mm -hmm. That is really, really cool. Um, anything else you want to add about your, your company? Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for the people that have been using our product mm -hmm. and spreading the word and, and I'm Vietnamese and we have a product that we're proud of and now we present it to not just within the Vietnamese community but beyond that not just within the Vietnamese cuisine but beyond that so this is something that I'm committed we have to maintain to carry on that our ancestor already invented this product because Phu Quoc happened to be at the place where they can produce this, trying to maintain it so that, you know, be proud of a product that you know, can be not just for the Vietnamese people, but for others as well. I totally agree. And thank you so much, you know, just on behalf of Little Saigon TV, like, thank you so much for um, bringing our culture, our food and culture around the world and showing them how beautiful and even how tasty okay. Vietnamese cuisine can be. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Xin cảm ơn CEO và thành lập viên của Red Boat Cường Phạm đã dành rất nhiều nỗ lực, công sức và thời gian để giới thiệu hương vị quê hương chúng ta với những đầu bếp vòng quanh thế giới. Sophie Bảo Trân cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình WhatsApp và xin hẹn gặp lại quý vị trong các chương trình kỳ tới.